What's chilling dudes, it's Trouble here, and welcome back to another episode of FTP Infinity Evolved on New Zealand Evolved World. So yeah, so today we're going to be doing a little bit with Tinker's Contract. We're going to create a few more tools because I've got the standard vanilla tools apart from my wooden lumber axe, but we are going to get some good uh, tools and such like iron tools. Probably. I haven't really looked into the materials of Tinker's Construct to know what's the best. And then we're going to create, uh, we'll probably focus on just a tree farm for this episode if we have a little bit more time, which I doubt we will because every episode I tend to run out of time. Then we'll, we'll work on a more sustainable food uh, farm than this. But yeah, that's our plan for today. So, first of all, let's get started um, by probably creating an excavator um, which is oh shovel no it's the version of the lumber axe which is the advanced shovel basically it digs in like a 3x3 area so uh, if I remember correctly okay no so we go here we create the pattern in the wood then we create a head out of wood we can chuck that back in and we get two gold I believe chuck them into this tinker's construct let them melt and then we can go chuck our wooden excavator here they'll create a little pattern I believe well all of it is happening what we can do is we can take some of our sugar cane now I believe that well what, what do I want to talk about with I believe I know that sugar cane is one of the best uh, materials to have in Tinker's Construct tools because they allow you to have modifiers with them to increase speed and luck, uh, fortune and such. So we'll create this most likely for the handle but first of all we gotta get the head. Alright, that's good. That should head up. There we go, that's a wooden excavator head. And that's the pattern. Sweet! Excavator. Uh, that's a four durability on oh, mining speed 3.2 durability 4424 I wonder if I'll actually ever remember that iron excavator 2000 okay so bronze is better so we'll go make some bronze uh, how do we make bronze I, I forget bronze uh, 3 copper to 1 tin yeah that's fine um so if we do that sort of ratio and then we chuck it in here, does that fit all of it? Oh no, it, it only has a limited amount of space. Okay, so they'll all combine into bronze. I think we should have enough for one more, which will probably be our lumber axe. Sweet, and then a large plate. This will cost eight materials, and then the tough rod will cost three. Hmm. I haven't really messed around with tools too much. Generally, I'll just uh, create the best tools outside of Tinkers, and then once I get to the end game where I have like silly amounts of um, once I have silly amounts of materials, I'll just create a Tinkers construct with like the end game materials. But I never really go mid game sort of tool creations. Not really my playstyle. All right, so uh, there, there, <laughs> zero point three durability modifier. What's that? Durability 27.22 modifiers 4. Yeah, should be good. That's a lot better than our current efficiency 3 on next anyway. And then this should be able to clear this space very nicely. Yep! Sweet, so that's the first tool. And then we'll need to create a pick. Uh, let me do a little bit more research on materials and such so I know what to look out for when we're creating our pick and such. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I did a little bit of research, and it looks like selenium is probably the best out of all of the materials to use for the tools and such, uh, for speed and durability and such. Um, so I'm going to use selenium. Uh, that's one silver ingot, I believe. Uh, three copper ingots, and then ten redstone. And then we're going to use the selenium. Uh, we're going to use it for a pickaxe, we're going to use it for an axe, and for a shovel. Wait... Why did... Conductive... Wait, what happened? 
Liquid restart. It's signalum I was actually looking for, not selenium. Selenium's on the periodic table. I chuck that in there. I got like some redstone in here, which stinks. It stinks. I just have redstone in there. Um, yeah. So got all of that in there, and then we'll make a pickaxe. Um, the handle and the um, tool binding casts, uh, they are going to be made out of bronze because I think bronze will be a lot stronger uh, like in terms of durability. I don't really need the handle modifiers at the moment. Uh, oh no, sorry, not the handle modifiers, just uh, the tool modifiers. I don't really need them at the current moment of time. Modern selenium, signalum, sun, sig, signalum, yeah. Boom! I will chuck you on. And then lastly, we just need the axe head. Boom! Like that. And then we should have one left over as well, which is nice. Boom! And then for these, we're going to use the bronze. Boom! Uh, you. That's half. And then we need three of these. One. Two. These are really... These tools, uh, they're like two ingots each. They are really cheap, which I really do like. They're a lot cheaper than the vanilla ones, which is pretty amazing. Alright, uh, we need you all. We need you. So that's a signal and pickaxe with bronze um, on the bottom as well. So that's two do two reinforces, and then that's a do. Oh, okay, the bronze. Okay, so we don't actually need a bronze um, binding. We can change the binding. That doesn't actually change the modifier. We might as well make the binding um, paper then. I didn't realize. Uh, I need paper, paper. I need you, and then get you. So it actually doesn't change anything. Um, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't played modded in a while. Uh, check you. We'll check you. Might as well just check this on then if it's not going to make any difference. Um, pick that one. Sweet. Uh, rideable reinforced one. Should be good. And then the durability doesn't change. Boom! That's a lot better of a pickaxe than uh, our diamond. We'll keep that around for anything else. Um, and then we got our axe. No, that's not the axe. Oh, we got a shovel. We'll do a shovel first. That's um, a shovel signal in with a reinforced one. Boom. And then our axe. Boom. Neat. Oh, look at the attack damage as well. Sharp, like my iron sword is just sharpened as one. Um, oh, I should probably make a sword actually. That's one thing which I need to make. So if we do that. Writable, reinforced. Okay, yeah, the paper white guy doesn't do anything. Well, it doesn't know. Uh, affect anything. I've uh, got the reinforced uh, durability modifier and we've got the signal limb. And then that's 15 attack damage. Yeah baby! I feel a lot better prepared now. i got like uh, my signal limb tools. i got a bronze uh, excavator but to be fair uh, signal limb is actually pretty expensive to carry around. And then yeah got all of these which I'm very happy about. Uh, signal limb pickaxe, uh, signal limb shovel, I kind of wanted to see how these guys do, so... Is that... Ah, uh, it's not too bad. <laughs> it's not too bad, it's better than nothing. Oh no, that's what I didn't want. I want dirt. I'm clearing out all of this land so we have more space to work with, because I think what we'll do next, after I go on a brief caving expedition, is we will go and make a little tree farm. Which we'll use via the uh, mine factory reloader stuff, but I think I need to go mining first. And I'm going to have to go upgrade... Uh, the pickaxe minimum just so I can get some fortune on this. It's uh we could probably do this really quick right now. Like that. Have I even oh I got fortune one now. I'm gonna check all of you on. Yeah, that's a lot of lapis. Holy heck. Alright, I gotta go on the caving expedition and I'll be back. See ya! Just coming back from my mining trip, I actually got quite a bit of uh, materials. Uh it's kinda hard to go see in this. Uh, which one's gold? I'm most happy that I've got a stack and a bit of gold, so now I've got like... I've got enough gold because I literally ran out of gold on this expedition. I also got myself a golden bag of holding for this expedition. And I got 12 diamonds as well, which is really nice. So I've got uh, quite a bit. Uh, filled up my uh, lava tank as well, which is pretty mean. And I came across this while I was heading back. Um, so let's go check it out. And hopefully... 
there will be some goodies. What I'll probably do is I'll clear out all of us and I'll take all of it back. Um, I would like uh, some to get started with AE to eventually. Okay, this might take a while to clear out. <laughs> okay, that's why I'm going to do it all off camera. But let's see what's on the inside. Hopefully this is the center. I think it's the center. Wait. What center? That uh, line up with here. I think it's center. Hopefully it's center. <laughs> I would be annoyed if it's not center. Okay, it is center. That chest looks really good in this texture pack. Okay, we got the inscriber. Okay, it's not too good. I would have preferred more oppressors, but I'll take one minimum. Alright guys, we're back at the spawn base, and I've actually already pulverized all of my gear, and chucked it all in here. So, got 19, oh, I had 21, but then I used, um, I can't remember. Oh, I used one diamond for my pickaxe. I've upgraded this pickaxe heaps. I added, uh, three redstone upgrades, I also added an extra modifier, and yeah, it's pretty good now, it's 28 mining speed. It's not instant mine stone yet, but it's instant mine sandstone. And that means it's pretty fast. And um, apart from that, I just like, processed everything else. Um, yeah, I've got lots of lapis. Um, all of that lapis. Pretty good amount of return. I used uh, like 15 blocks or something for the pickaxe. So we had um, quite a bit beforehand. Got 14 gold blocks, which is nice because we ran out uh, just before I went on my mining trip. And yeah, pretty much all of the stuff. I've got some rubber trees as well, which I got on my adventures. And I also did a few machines over here, rearranged a few things as well. And yeah, sweet. Also, I need to show you guys, there's, uh, in the FTB Infinity Evolved pack, there is a mod called Storage Drawers. And what these allow you to do is um, compress, uh, well, keep items in these drawers and you can draw them out according to three different tiers of compression. So, for example, if you had ingots, you could either have them as ingots or nuggets or you could have them as blocks. And you could chuck them in one of these drawers, and uh, anytime you need nuggets, for example, you just like draw nuggets, or you can pick out the uh, blocks, or you can pick out ingots, depending on which one you want. And so what I've got set up is I've got a cop I've got my cobblestone generator in here, and it's going into this barrel. Get out of here, zombie! I might as well just sleep this off. So I've got a cobblestone generator going into a barrel. The barrel just allows me to insert extra cobblestone whenever I want, or uh, any spear cobblestone I have. And then this is drawing items, uh, cobblestone out of here into these compact drawers. And then these are just automatically compacting the cobblestone for me. Uh, in this one it's inserting the single cobblestone and uh, drawing out the double compressed. Uh, it puts the double compressed in here and then draws out the quadruple. And then it draws out the quadruple and it uh, will eventually bring out the six tuple. And then uh, same thing over here, I'll bring out the octuple. Uh, the octuple uh, compressed cobblestone will go all the way over to this redstone furnace. Um, now I've just got it like set up, and then this will uh, smelt it up into bedrockian blocks. If we ever need bedrockian blocks, if it ever gets to that stage, and if I ever speed up the cobblestone generator, because it is, I've got like five world interaction upgrades, and that's it. So it's not going super fast, but it is getting there, and I'm getting quite a lot of cobblestone along the way as well, which is really nice to have all of it. Sweet. Um, but yeah, let's go make that tree farm right now. Right, so I was looking at some stuff. Uh, first thing we're going to need is the flower pot for the planter. I'll make the machines here. So with the rubber trees, uh, I've been cutting them down with my wooden lumber axe. I haven't really needed anything more than a wooden lumber axe, which is pretty neat. Um, so I've got over here the plastic sheets and such. Uh, what else do I need? I need iron, tin. I'll probably need some glass. Poof. Get some glass over there. Um, planter. Oh, I need some redstone. I'll do pistons. Bang, bang. And then planter. Bang. Okay, so we've got a planter. And then the other thing we'll need is the harvester to harvest the trees, of course. Right, so we need invar. I've got invar over here. Oh, while we're doing all of this, I should probably chuck some redstone. Um, what's I'm going to call it? Oh gosh. Let's get, oh no. Everything is going wrong. Alright. Redstone stuff for the uh, energy and such. That was such a great description, Torbro. Well done. And let's chuck the stone away. 
Alright, so for the harvester we need Invar X's. We need to go get some sticks. Got some sticks in here. We need to go get our Invar. I need some more Invar. One second guys, I'll be right back. Alright, so I got the Invar X's. Uh, we need gold gears. I don't have any gold. Well, I don't have enough gold on me. <laughs> There's a distinction. Alright, uh, gold gears. Bang bang. Um, Freestone... Do I need, wait, do I need one of these? Wait, which one do I need? Gold. I, yeah, so that's fine. Alright, I uh, might as well go, like, check all of the stuff over here. It's starting to clog up my infantry. Uh, bang. Uh, do I have my... No, I don't. I don't have the machine frame. I don't think. I don't think so. It's not a huge issue if we make another one though, because I'm sure we'll be making more machines in the future. Bang! I got those. I mean, what's the last thing? Shears. Okay, that's not hard. Uh, might as well just make it out of iron. I know you can make it out of any mat material, but I use... Uh, 240 RF work. Okay, sure. Uh, I use iron, because I'm old-fashioned like that. Um, is that... Oh yeah, it's, I think it's facing the right way. We'll just chuck some light down here as well. Like so. Sweet! Um, I placed the planter over here. Might as well just get rid of all of these. Uh, get rid of you. Uh, oh, planter. There we go. Let's get the planter. Alright, what's the plan? I actually haven't thought about this just yet. I need more torches. I think we need a chest here. I think... I think we need actually a chest right there behind the harvester, if I remember how the harvester works. So if we go like this, that gives us access power to everything. Got the chest behind the harvester, and then what we can do is we can get our item conduit, and then we can bring it out here? Do we want it here in front? Oh, we could chuck our barrels here. Yeah, should be fine. And then item conduits. And then barrel. Barrel. Um, not the way I was hoping. More like barrel, barrel, and barrel. Yeah, right, we so need to get some saplings. Let's get some saplings. I've got some saplings over in here. I think this works. I'd like to say it works. I'm not 100% certain, though. So we'll use oak saplings. And then this goes in the planter. This should be powered. Yeah, it's got power. Sweet, that's nice. And then this over here should have power. Yeah, that has power as well. So basically we just let them grow. And then as soon as they grow, then we should start seeing stuff. I need to go get an apple as well. I don't think I have any apples left. I think I ate them all on my trip. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to go cut here and then um, leave it to run for a bit. And then I'll see how it goes. See you guys in a bit. Got all set up. Nice and sorted. So what I've got here is uh, I've added, uh, first of all, a sludge drum. Because obviously the harvester creates lots of sludge. So I just put it all into a drum. I don't know what I'm doing with it. I don't have any cacti to put all the sludge into a void fluid pipe so I might have to go get like a cacti ladder and void all of the sludge but for now I'm just checking on it all in the drum. I also added a uh, a sprinkler and then it's on top of an aqueous accumulator which I believe it can draw water from and then it's got uh, two water source blocks on either side because that's how aqueous accumulators work and yeah this is actually producing quite a lot of wood um, First of all, there are actually quite a lot of flowers now because of the sprinkler, which is actually kind of lovely. And then all of the saplings are filling up in here. Yeah, it's working really well. Um, trash can, I don't think anything is going in the trash can. Yeah, and just getting a good amount of wood, which I'm very happy about. Plus the fact that it's not like a strain on the energy at all. I mean, at all, it's not really straining on the energy, which is pretty dang crazy, and I love it a lot. Um, I don't have a use for the wood just yet. I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do with the wood, but now that I've got a good supply of wood, 
slash apples. I don't know why I'll ever need apples, but now that I've got a good uh, supply of wood, I could probably quite easily make like lots of these barrels, and I don't have to use my lumber axe so much. But that's going to be it for the episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, next episode, there's quite a lot of things which I want to do, which require stuff like glowstone, and never quartz, and never brick, and uh, all of that jazz. So next episode, we are going to visit the never, but we will need to go probably get some better armor at least. So I don't know what armor we'll get. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode of FDB Infinity Evolved. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Uh, yeah. Stay tuned. And I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers, dudes.